let me show you what you will be building in this course. So this is our homepage. It's a little candy shop with a little slider. And when we scroll down, we have a bunch of candy displayed on our front page, which is the candy that is on sale currently. So we can click any of this candy and go to the details page where we have details about the candy such as price, the name and a little description. And we of course have the add to cart button, which we have on each of those candies, even for the thumbnails. So we can add to cart any of the candy from any page. We also have categories menu. So here we have all the categories listed or we can view all the candy. So when I click all the candy, here is the page with all the candy. And we can of course sort it out by, let's say Halloween candy or any other category. We have a little contact page, which is simply an email address. But the point of this page and this email address is that this is a custom tag helper. So I wanted to show you how to do custom tag helpers and this was a perfect opportunity for it. And we have a register and login because only logged in users can actually do the checkout on the shopping cart. So let's just go to homepage and I'm going to add fruit candy to the cart. When I click the add to cart button, you can see here is the fruit candy that I just added. And we can check out, clear the cart or decrease the amount. If I decrease the amount now, it would basically clear the cart because we only have one piece of candy there. So let's go back and I'll add one more piece. So you can see now we have two pieces of the same candy. Let's go to categories and let's add another fruit candy. So you can see we have two different kinds of candy, one with two pieces and one with one piece. And up here we have the shopping cart that shows that we have two different kinds of candy in the cart. So if I click the decrease amount here, you can see it decreased it by one. And now I have only one piece of candy each. So we can go to checkout. And when I do that, I cannot actually check out just yet because I am not logged in. So I'm going to log in. And when I log in, since I am trying to do the checkout, it sends me to the form to fill out for my address and submit the order. So once I fill in the form, I can complete the order. And when I do, I get thank you for your order and the order is being entered into the database. So let's add another order. So I'll add another candy into cart and go to checkout. But this time, let's say I don't fill any information. And you can see we have some validation on each of our text boxes as well as a validation summary on the top of the page. And we use some restrictions on some of the fields. For example, I made it so the state has to be the abbreviated version. So it's only accepting two letters. So rather than Pennsylvania, I would have to type PA. Zip code only accepts up to five digits and so forth. So we perform a little bit of validation on our form as well. So it's a simple application with a simple shopping cart, but it allows us to basically do all the basics that the ASP.NET Core 3.0 offers. We will use view components, tag helpers, sessions, authorization, authentication. We will use, of course, MVC pattern. We will use repository pattern. We will use dependency injection services, all the good stuff that ASP.NET Core allows us to use. So I think this is a perfect project for the beginners who are either brand new to ASP.NET Core or want to move from older versions of MVC or .NET Core to the ASP.NET Core 3.0. So if that's you, I encourage you to sign up for this course because I think you will like it. And at the end of the course, you will be well versed in ASP.NET Core 3.0. So I'll see you in the course.